Traditions surrounding the Christmas holiday are some of the most anticipated and celebrated events of the year. In this video, we'll take a closer look at 10 of our favorite Christmas traditions and where they might have come from. Fir trees were traditionally used to celebrate winter pagan, Roman, and Christian festivals for thousands of years. Homes were decorated with tree branches during the winter solstice to anticipate the coming spring and symbolize the victory of life over darkness. Many believe this protected them from evil spirits during the winter months. In the 16th century, German Christians brought trees into their homes, and many believe that Martin Luther was composing a sermon one night when he was awed by brilliant stars twinkling through evergreen trees. He recreated the scene for his family by adding lit candles on a tree he brought into his home. In the United Kingdom, Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert, put a German Christmas tree in Windsor Castle, and it became popular in England when they posed with their children in front of it for a newspaper article. In the 1800s, German settlers introduced the Christmas tree in homes throughout America. Christmas colors of red, gold, and green have their roots based in religious symbols. Red suggests the blood that Jesus Christ shed at his crucifixion and is the color of cranberries, holly berries, and Santa's suit. Green represents everlasting life and reminds us of new life that returns in the spring when winter ends and is the color of tree needles and holly. And gold symbolizes a gift the three kings gave to the child Jesus. People sang folk songs at celebrations throughout history. In medieval times, churchgoers adopted many of these songs and carols, and we now sing them as one of our most beloved Christmas traditions. Hark the Herald Angels Sing was written in 1739 and tells who Jesus is and what his coming means to the world. I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day was written in 1863 by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who hoped for peace on earth, good will to men, as the country was fighting the Civil War and his son had been wounded in the battle. And Do You Hear What I Hear was written in 1962 as a hymn for peace during the Cuban Missile Crisis, when the king asked people to pray for peace people everywhere. Christmas wreaths are a popular tradition throughout the world. The word wreath means to twist, and Persians wore them on their heads with jewels as a sign of power and authority. Egyptians made them from flowers, and Greeks made laurel wreaths for emperors, warriors, and athletes as a symbol of honor. Germanic and Scandinavian people used them with lit candles in the pagan holiday of Yule, or midwinter, that marked the winter solstice and symbolized the returning of the sun, nature, and the promise of spring. Romans used holly wreaths as gifts and decorations during Saturnalia, a celebration of the god of agriculture in December. Christians in the 16th century during Yule used evergreens as a symbol of eternal life. Holly oak with its red berries and thorny leaves representing the thorn crown Jesus wore and drops of his blood, and ivy with its heart-shaped leaves that symbolized Jesus' birth. They held four candles that were lit during Advent, and sometimes had a white candle lit on Christmas Eve to symbolize the coming of the light of Christ. A wreath's circular shape symbolizes eternal life and God's unending love. St. Nicholas was a 4th century Christian bishop who lived in Myrna, that is now modern-day Turkey. He wanted to help a poor family with three daughters that each needed a dowry before they could marry. He showed charity without hurting their pride when he threw gold coins down their chimney on Christmas Eve that fell into a stocking hanging in the fireplace to dry. Because of his generosity, he was made the patron saint for children and sailors when he died, and was given his own feast day on December 6th. Many people today put oranges in Christmas stockings to represent the gold coins. In Holland, his name evolved to Sinterklaas, and then to Santa Claus when Dutch settlers in America brought with them the tradition of leaving out wooden clogs to be filled with presents. Mistletoe was popular with the Druids for its ability to survive and stay green throughout the winter without roots. It was harvested during the winter solstice and used for medical purposes. 
Scandinavians associated mistletoe with a goddess of love, and Romans saw it as a symbol of peace, which led to our modern-day tradition that a kiss under it brings a year of good luck and marriage for young maidens. Advent begins the Christmas season, four Sundays before Christmas Day. Lutherans mark down the days until Christmas with chalk on their front doors. Advent calendars today begin on December 1st and count down 24 days to Christmas Eve. This tradition started in Germany in 1903, when a publisher offered a way for children to count down to Christmas by opening a door or window each day to show a Bible verse, poem, or small gift. Mince pies were originally filled with meat as well as dried fruit and spices. Returning crusaders who enjoyed Middle Eastern foods that combined meat, fruit, and spices brought them to Britain in the 13th century. The oval-shaped Christmas pies represent the shape of Jesus' manger, and the spices of cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg represent the three wise men. Modern traditions say a mince pie should be eaten on each of the twelve days of Christmas to bring twelve months of good luck. And giving Christmas presents goes back to the time of Christ's birth, when three wise men called the Magi, who were a special class of priests in the Persian Empire, recognized a special star in the sky, and traveled from the far east to worship he who has been born King of the Jews. When the Magi finally found the house where the Christ child was staying, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy fell down on their faces before Jesus and Mary, and worshipped him. They gave three special gifts to Jesus. Gold, that is a precious metal used for jewelry, ornaments, and currency throughout history. Frankincense, that is an expensive fragrance or perfume made from tree sap in India, East Africa, and Arabia. And myrrh, which is a costly perfume made from rare thorn bushes in Arabia and Ethiopia. Ponderfun invites you to enjoy these and the many other Christmas traditions associated with this wonderful season. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Look for hidden objects throughout this video. You can download a coloring page and activity puzzles for each section on Etsy at Ponderfun. Visit our Facebook page or Ponderfun.com to find more fun things to do. And you can listen to these as a podcast. Please like and share these videos with anyone you think might enjoy them, and I'll keep making new ones. Thanks again for watching, and find some time this week to ponder.